Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a big old tub of empties, um, stuff that I used up for the month of October. So let's get started. I have quite a bit and I have some helpers. So um, one is asleep, the eight month old is asleep and I have the two year old sitting here in the floor by me. He's supposed to be playing with his tractor. So we'll see, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. So anyway, um, couple of makeup remover wipes that I've used up. I use these just mainly to do swatches and here in my makeup room to wipe down my vanity, stuff like that. Don't actually use them to take off makeup. Anyway, um, Clinique um, Clarifying Lotion number three. Um, this is the big one with the little um, pump top here. I think the last couple ones of these that I've got, I purchased at the CCO at the outlet mall, but you can get these at Sephora and Ulta. I use this twice a day, every day, probably for the last 20 years. I love it. We'll definitely be repurchasing it. This is a great um, exfoliator. I like to use it just to make sure that I've gotten off any residue of makeup that may have been left behind from my cleanser of the morning is great to um, cleanse the skin, um, getting off any of the dead skin that's on the face that uh, my skincare products that I put on the night before, you know, I always use some type of AHA, BHA, or a retinol that's supposed to be doing a chemical exfoliant. This really helps with um, sloughing off all of those dead skin cells of the morning time definitely will be repurchasing um, matter of fact i need to repurchase one because i just opened up my backup one from manio factory their rosehip oil mist love this stuff i think this is probably my third bottle of it um, on my last backup of it um, i'm not for sure what what website I order this from but anyway I use this as my very last step of makeup application I just spritz it all over my face it really just kind of um, brings down that powder look and just really helps to moisturize my skin I have dry skin I just love this and it's probably the best um, spray that I have found that works the best for moisturizing my face and I just really like this I like it a lot and like I said I've purchased it quite a bit it's the rosehip essence balancing mist a multi benefit lightweight mist that hydrates and balances the complexion naturally sets makeup and refreshes the skin and senses I don't remember Manu Factory. It may be the Manu Factory. That may be the website that I get it from. And I could kick myself because not too long ago they were having a sale and they had this on sale for like really cheap. And I was going to order a couple of bottles of it, but it was during the time frame where I was sick and I just didn't get it ordered. And I wish I would have. Wished I would have ordered a couple of bottles, but I did it. Um, a brush head from my Clarisonic. It's not the one that's in here. It is this one here, which I think is the regular one. And this is just too rough for my skin. So I won't be re uh, repurchasing this one. The one that I have on there right now is this one here, which is the Radiance. But um, this one is almost too rough for my skin. I have to make sure that I'm very, very um, light-handed when I use my Clarisonic. I really like the one that is the the cashmere, but you can't find that at Ulta or Sephora. I think I'm going to have to order it off of Amazon, but I don't need it right now because I think I have three more of these, so that's going to last me well into next year because you only have to replace these every three months so i won't be repurchasing any anytime soon have a absent salts from 
Dr. Teal's. This is the Shea Butter and Almond Oil, which is really good for this time of year because not only are you getting the benefits from soaking in Epsom salts, but you're also getting some moisturization in your bath, which I highly recommend. I like those. A couple of products that I don't like. Um, this one was in my Pink Soul box. It was a beauty sponge. This was a joke. There was no way to use this. First of all, it was too big to use as a beauty sponge and it was too hard to hold on to. So I tried it. I tried to use it a few times, but I just couldn't. And then this one was from Eco Tools. I didn't like the way it worked either. And it left kind of like, it was streaky. I didn't like it. I didn't like, I just didn't like it. So I'm getting rid of it getting rid of those now this one I liked this is from real real techniques I like this sponge and I used it it's just time to let it go but I liked the way it applies and I have several of these because when you buy these they're in like in a pack that has like five of them I think in there so I have quite a few of those a toothpaste I finished up a toothpaste and this is the Colgate optic white um, I like this for helping to keep my teeth um, free of stains. Mad Hippie, this is a vitamin C serum. I will not repurchase this. I didn't really care for it. Um, yeah, I just didn't really like it. I had different ingredients in it that I didn't care for. And it had um, cognac root ferulic and hyaluronic acid in it no I just didn't I didn't really think it helped with brightening and it was I don't know I just didn't like it I did I mean I used it all but I don't like it <laughs> I didn't like it I don't know why but I just didn't like it so I'm not going to repurchase Here's another product that was a vitamin C product. This is from The Ordinary. And I was going to reorder this, but um, Ulta doesn't carry it and Sephora doesn't carry it. Even though both of those places carry The Ordinary, they don't carry this particular product. But it's the 100% L-azorbic acid powder. And it's just a vitamin C powder that you mix in with any type of product that you have, like whether it be a serum or a moisturizer or an essence. And that way you are uh, mixing your vitamin C fresh every single day. And it came with this little scoop. And you didn't need the full scoop, only a half a scoop would suffice. And that's what it looked. I mean, I really scraped that out. And this lasted a really long time. I liked it. And I felt like it did a really good job. But like I said, neither one of those places carry it. Now you can go into the Ordinary website itself and order it. And it may, I may do that later on. But um, yeah, I liked it. And I felt like it worked pretty decent. There was another one that I used to like from um, Philosophy and actually Philosophy I there for a long time was the only people, the only brand that I knew of that had a vitamin C powder that had the only concept where you could mix your vitamin C fresh every single day until the ordinary and then they had one, and I know um, um, Good Molecules, is that it? They have one too, but theirs has other ingredients in it other than just the L-absorbic acid like this one does. So anyway, contemplating repurchasing that, but like I said, you have to go into the um, ordinary website to get that. Finished a MAC powder, and this was uh, the Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Warm Rose. And I'm pretty sure that this has been discontinued because I got it at Dillard's. They were doing it on sale, like, was that 40% off? I, ordered, I purchased, like, three of them. So I had been using this as a finishing powder 
or as a setting powder and I really did like it. I liked the color of it because it had a little bit of a pink tone to it which I have pink undertones to my skin. So I have a couple more in backup so I can't really say I would go and repurchase it because I don't know if it's still available but I do like it and I will be back to macking that container there. But I did like it. Um, from the Ordinary, a lactic acid, um, 10%. I very much get along very well with lactic acid. Um, I first introduced to lactic acid with the Sunday Riley Good Jeans, but I think this works just as well. And of course, this is a whole lot cheaper than the Sunday Riley Good Jeans, so I do recommend that if you're looking for a lactic acid, try that one from The Ordinary. And of course you can get it from Ulta or from Sephora now. Let's see, from Claire's I have this oil here. Was it oil? Uh, the Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drop. This was Intensive EGF Peptide Treatment. This took a long time for me to use because um, I would forget to use it for one thing because it was one of those products that it was a really thin product so you would have to use it kind of early in your skincare regime and I would just forget to use it so I didn't really benefit from from it because I just I wasn't consistent with using it it came in a kit came in from Wish Trend like a Black Friday deal or something a couple years ago. But anyway, it had blueberry extract in it, um, some other products. Um, so I can't really say if it worked really good or not. Um, I can't say that it, that it um, lived up to its claim because I didn't use it consistently, but I did finish it. Would I um, go out on my way to purchase it? No. So Now this stuff I did like. This was a deluxe eye sample. It's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. This was very, very moisturizing. This was even more moisturizing than the um, Bobbi Brown um, eye cream that I always talk about that I think is very moisturizing. So um, if you're looking for an eye cream that you just want something that's just very hydrating, I think I hear the baby, then I would go with this over the Bobbi Brown because this was really hydrating and I really, really liked this. And if I didn't have so many other eye creams to use, I would definitely be buying one of these. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put this on my Ulta wish list and my Sephora wish list so I don't forget about it because I really did like that. Oh, I have another ordinary product. Oh, this was the Caffeine Solution 5% for under the eyes. It was supposed to help, you know, with puffiness and stuff. <laughs> this thing looks really, really gross. I had this for a while. It was okay. I don't think then I'm going to purchase anything else that is supposed to have like the caffeine and stuff in it. I'm not going to repurchase this. I have one from um, Good Molecules right now that came in last year's um, Lucky Bag. It's okay. I don't really, once it's gone, I'm not going to purchase it either, but mm, yeah, I'm not going to repurchase it. It was all right. I used it. They always make me feel um, dry underneath so I don't really like that um, here is an eye cream from Caudalie and I dropped it and I broke it and so um, I'm still using it I just um, depotted it into a little tub because I tried to keep using it out of this little thing but I cut myself a couple of times so this stuff is like really really expensive and I don't think that it's worth the price that it is. So there you go. And that was sent to me through Octoly a while back. Then I have a eyelash primer from L'Oreal. And this is the Lash Paradise 
the Luminous Lash Paradise um, Eyelash Primer. I don't like this. I like the original one um, better. I don't like this one, and I bet I did use it up. Now, my daughter, on the other hand, loves this. She likes this one a whole lot better than she likes the original one. So, there you go, but I didn't care for it. Then I did finish up my Dr. Brandt, the Luminizer Primer. This, the Pores No More, I really liked this. This was sent to me through Optoly not too long ago, and I've already finished it. I really did like that. I liked it a lot. So I may contemplate um, repurchasing that or purchasing my own bottle of that. Um, this stuff I really did like, but this stuff is so expensive. This is from Monet, and it's the Reshape Root Lifter for volume, and it was just a spray. And where I like to have volume at is right here in the crown, which I guess is probably where all of us like it. And um, that's where I would spray it at, and then I would put my little duck bill clip there and to kind of lift it and then just let that air dry. I don't use any kind of heat styling or um, blow dryer or anything like that on my hair. So I just spray that while it's wet and then put that little clip there and then just let it air dry. And I really felt like it gave me the lift that I wanted there. I may contemplate repurchasing that because to be honest with you, I haven't really found anything else that works as good as that. So that doesn't require heat to make it work, to activate it. So another little deluxe size sample. Um, this was the CEO from Cindy Riley. Um, this was really nice. Yeah. Um, but it's just so expensive. This had vitamin C in it. <sighs> and, I mean, you could really, it, you could see it working. You could see the effects of the next morning. I would use it at night. But it's just so expensive. And there's other products that have vitamin C. That's a vitamin C moisturizer in it. Um, Ola Henriksen has one that's cheaper than this that works just as well. So definitely won't purchase the full size of that, but it was nice to have to have that one. Here's another product that is, I in my opinion, is overpriced, and that's from Drunk Elephant. It's the Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. You can find other products that work just as well as what this does, but here's another product too that everybody talks about and just thinks it's the greatest thing and if you've been watching you know the Sephora uh, recommendation videos a lot of people are recommend recommend recommending this product I didn't I bought into the hype a while back and bought this but I didn't see it but it's from Charlotte Tilbury it's the magic cream it's supposed to treat and transform it's right here. I've been using it. I've had it for a while and I pulled it out and thought I need to use this up before it goes bad. So I've been using it as a basically like a primer, moisturizer slash primer. So, but it didn't work miracles. It was okay, but I'm not going to repurchase it, especially for what the price of it is. So anyway, it is what it is. An SK2 facial treatment essence. This stuff is really nice. It's a really good essence, but it is not worth the price tag that they charge for it. By no means. By no means. Maybe half of the price tag that they charge for it, yeah. But not what they charge for it, full price, no. But it's nice to get those little deluxe size samples though. And then I did use up an eyeshadow, and this is in the color um, Vanilla. And I'm pretty sure this is a MAC eyeshadow. And this was a color that I would just use as an all-over um, base or to create an all-over eyeshadow canvas for the, the eyelid. And if this is a... Mac. I wonder if you can map back to Mac that. Possibly. I always try, right? Here's another Mac product. This is a lip liner. 
and this is not em empty. It's a Pro, Pro Longwear Lip Liner in Tristan Red, but this thing is so dried out that you can't even, if you sharpen it and you try to use it, it's just so um, dry and crusty and it's just, it's, it's done. It's completely done. So I'm going to back to Mac that. And then um, this was sent to me a while ago, a while, a while ago from um, Octoly. It's the Pure Bear It All um, 12 Hour 4 in, wall, 4 in 1 Skin Perfecting Foundation. And I used quite a bit of it. And this is in the color Porcelain. And it's just too drying and too heavy of a foundation for me. So I am getting rid of it. I mean, it's, I mean, you can tell I use, I use quite a bit of it. I'm really surprised I use that as much as I did of it, but I am letting it go. It is going away. Uh, a lipstick that I finished, and this is from Smashbox. I really did like this. I liked the formula. It was a very long lasting, but it wasn't overly drying. And this was in the color it was the Always On Liquid Lipstick in the color Boss, B-A-W-S-E. And I just really liked it. As a matter of fact, I didn't really want to pull it out of, out of my makeup bag. This is what I carried in my purse with me because I liked it so much, but it was just getting really, really hard. Hard to pull out. It was, it was dried out <laughs> because I just wore it so much. I really liked it. And then here's another one that I didn't want to let go out of my makeup bag, but it was time. This was just a little deluxe size sample of the Anastasia um, lip gloss in St. Tropez. And I have a full size of it that I got back during the summer, but I love this color. I like the formula of this and I love that color, but it's time to let those go. Yes, it is. And then I have a eyebrow thingy that I'm letting go. Hang on just a second. I'm tossing all those empties down the floor and he's down there playing with them and I'm afraid he's gonna get a hold of that and cut his finger. So I'm putting that back there. But anyway, this is a from Benefit, the Cabral in the color one and it's not quite gone, but almost, but it's dried up. So I'm calling it, I'm calling it gone. I mean, cause that is, that is pretty darn empty for being eyebrow product, right? Pretty darn empty. So that is gone. I just have a couple more things in here. Have some of my little razors that I have used to do my dermaplaning that are dulled out now and then a different gel this is the dapoline gel 0.1% that I use on my off nights that I'm not using my tretinoin really like that and this little this little container I bought this way back during the summer I think I bought it in May so last May, June, July, August, September, October it lasts me six months because it just takes a small amount just like small pea size amount to do the whole face and I especially like it for my chin area and my forehead area especially the chin because that's where I get those um, hard inflamed um, cystic type bumps that never come to a head they just get red and inflamed and just hurt I hate those things and then I used a, a Borean CC cream sample I really I liked this when it first went on when he first comes out it's just like a white cream and then it um, adjusts to your skin tone and matches your skin tone but the more I wore it the, oh I didn't like the way it felt it was almost like one of those like a cream to powder type feeling I did not like that Ugh, I didn't like the way that it felt on my skin did not like that and then I used a um, coconut milk and a organic honey cur curl care deep conditioner. And who was this from? 
Was this Hosk? I think this was Hosk. One of these little thingies that I got from Ulta in one of those little freebie things. I think this was Hosk. Hask, Hosk. Yeah, Hask. It was okay. My curls really didn't like it. <laughs> They're just picky. So that is it for my empties. And, uh, yeah, he was good. The baby's still asleep. We made it through in pretty good time also. So, anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will be talking to you soon.